This week in the Imperial Valley, ECRMC warns against a third COVID surge, local court trials continue, and a two-school talent show ignites Calexico. I'm Kayla Kirby, and this is your Desert Review Weekly Webcast. According to Dr. Christian Tomachevsky, who addressed the community via Facebook Live with ECRMC CEO Dr. Adolph Edward, the new COVID-19 variant seems to be more transmissible than the virus strain that has been around since mid-March last year. He said the new variant is approximately 5% of San Diego's current COVID cases. He predicted Imperial County's third big surge to hit in the next 30 to 60 days due to the higher transmission rate and lack of COVID vaccine. This week, we have two court updates for you regarding Alejandro Hurtado, the El Centro Police Department officer who was recently found innocent on false imprisonment and assault charges, and Annette Butner, the Imperial County Board of Education trustee who was charged with two counts of perjury and one count of filing false declaration of candidacy. Butner appeared remotely for a readiness conference February 1st, where her attorney requested a continuance due to personal matters. All parties agreed to return March 29th for another readiness conference, with the trial slated to begin the following day. Hurtado was scheduled for a pre-trial and jury setting February 1st. A mistrial was previously declared and prosecutors appear to be moving forward with retrial. Hurtado has until March 1st to decide if she will retain the same counsel or opt for another. Calexico Unified School District's William Moreno and Enrique Camarena Jr. High Schools held their sixth annual Aztec Fire Talent Show, where Willie Moreno Aztecs and Kiki Camarena Firebirds get to show off their students' skills less traditionally associated with academics. Virtual student acts included singing, karate, gymnastics, magicians, comedians, and one student scenes from self-written plays. Kiki Camarena ASB advisor Allison Jaime said, I think that it's good for the community to see that our kids have these talents, which they don't normally get the opportunity to share with everyone. This webcast was brought to you by... For information on these stories and more, check out our free website at thedesertreview.com. Remember to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and pick up our weekly paper at a location near you. To never miss an issue, a yearly subscription is only $30. I'm Kayla Kirby, and this is your Desert Review Weekly Webcast.